If I ask you who is the greatest pickleball player of all time, who would you say? Ben Johns, hands down. But why? He's super athletic, but not as athletic as Tyson McGovern. And he can hit the ball really hard, but not as hard as Julian Arnold. So how come he's the greatest pickleball player of all time? Two great players going at it, but one's the best, and that's Ben Johns. How come he's so good? Because Christian Alshon just won the first game against Ben Johns and thinks he's going to win, but Ben Johns has a strategy change, and that's why he's the best in the world. Ben Johns is the greatest of all time in my mind because of one reason, his ability to quickly adapt within one game to win a best out three or five very quickly. And many times it's within one or two points he can adapt, right? If I'm playing pickleball and I screw up and I'm getting beat, it's like seven nothing, I change strategies and I have somewhat of a chance to come back, right? But it's seven nothing already. After dropping the first game, Ben Johns doesn't sweat. He's in his Tiger Woods Sunday Red, has a quick strategy change, and asserts his dominance on his opponents. And how does Ben Johns adapt so quickly, right? And how can we at home if we're in a tournament or rec play? Because Ben Johns can hit the ball so hard, but it's not always about that. Sometimes it's about floating the ball to give yourself more time to get back in the point, especially in singles, right? I got a double strategy coming up for all you doubles lovers but this is the point do not get too down on points you lose try to see what your opponents are doing to you and adapt change don't get emotional like i do all the time don't be like me even in rec play try to change strategy against better opponents that way in tournaments you'll be ready so ben johns is extremely analytical he recognizes patterns from his opponents and can adapt extremely quickly and that makes him the best player in the world the goat g-o-a-t of all time and my producer played ben johns during covid i had a brief discussion with him and he said ben johns hits the ball really hard right a lot harder than on tv and the spin is incredible the ball really bites and you can't see that and this is mark in my voice i remember when i played against him he started poaching my four shot roll on my third attempt so he sees patterns really quickly and acts on it of course we have the game in the vault this is Mark Depotovich in a beautiful forehand roll on Ben Johns and if you're watching you're like they might have a chance right and this is Cliff from Cliff Pickleball he's picking on Simone too and then Ben Johns adapts he changes starts poaching and this game's over before it even started And that's why Ben John sometimes loses in the first game and cleans a slate in the next two, right? One more thing Mark said, Ben Johns plays probabilities, right? He speeds it up. He already knows where the next ball is going. The average rec player speeds it up, but then goes back to the ready position, right? Then watches his opponent. They're not really adapting, right? Ben John swings. He knows where the next ball is going. He's not going back to that ready position because he knows probabilities and he's very analytical. Mark just won a point against Ben Johns. He's feeling pretty good. People don't realize the spin that this slice return has, and Mark handled it so well. If a huge slice is coming, I would advise to use that spin against them. Either drive the ball or do what Mark did and use that spin against Ben Johns, right? That's what Cliff does right here, but drop that fifth shot. Cliff knows it. He shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done it, Cliff. And here's another point. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. How do you instantly become a .5 better in pickleball? You don't hit out balls. You don't do it. Pickleball lovers, this was such a good video, but let me ask you one more question. 
Will anyone be better than Ben Johns in our lifetime? Please leave your comments. Please subscribe. And don't forget to have a good day. I love doing this so much. And don't forget, here are the Pickleball Pirates. We may love Pickleball just as much as you do. I know it's tough to believe. It's true, though.